Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at Ubisoft's re-release of Scott Pilgrim's vs. The World, The Game, now to be renamed The Complete Edition to come out sometime later in 2020. With The Complete Edition yet to be released, I wanted to take a look back at the original release, developed by Ubisoft Montreal and released by Ubisoft in 2010, the game was released with its motion picture counterpart of the same name that has since become a cult classic. I myself love the film and is one of my favorite game theme films of all time. I played the original with my friends and they went pretty far into the game already which made it pretty easy for me to beat with them. I bought the game on Xbox Arcade thinking I would check it out on my own since I had so much fun with my friends. Ten years later, that feeling is definitely not the same. The game itself reminds me of the OG River City Ransom on your Nintendo Entertainment System, known as the NES or NES. Boy, was that game awesome. You would buy power-ups and special moves like Super Kick or Punch, and you would be able to beat those gang members in no time at all. Similar in approach, Scott Pilgrim lets you choose from four different characters and allows you to play up to four players at one time. Unlike ten years prior, I am only able to play the game in single player as all my friends sold their Xbox 360s and pretty much upgraded. Playing the game solo, not so much carnage and chaos encompass the screen, but enough to keep you busy. I found that different characters offer different styles, but Scott is the most balanced. As I played with even the first level, this game can be a little bit punishing. Not like the Demon Souls type, but obviously they want you to grind and repeat levels to level up and to get stronger. As you defeat the enemies, they become coins that you can use for power-ups and extra life. I did find that the actual gameplay was a bit on the slow side and wanted the action to be more robust and quicker. The pace is slow and makes the levels feel that much longer, making you dread trying to get to the boss. The bosses are unique and indeed take thought in defeating as everyone has their own pattern. The visuals are what sets this game apart. With the usage of pixel art, it is done quite well. The music and sound also fit perfectly for the setting of the game. It just makes sense. The design itself is what really draws you in, but you realize the game is much more massive than your average beat em up. Overall, playing Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the video game, from the very beginning, the game deserves a 7.5 out of 10 for its ambitious look into retro beat-em-ups of the past, and they pretty much do succeed in that. If only they nail the pacing of the game and speed up the action just a bit, you would have a great brawler, worthy of much more than its namesake. Other than that, you have a beat-em-up with great visuals and overall design that is the icing to an otherwise basic cake found at the local supermarket. That's it for me on this retro look on... Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here.
Damn.